Yo, what is up guys, it's Loza, and we're looking at the Blue Eyes structure deck that is coming out in the Asian English format. We're going to be looking at contents of it and rating it out of 10, similar to that of the Dark Magician structure deck. So anyway, we're going to start off with Vanilla Blue Eyes. I mean, it, it's a spot to begin, I suppose. Next is Labradorite Dragon, which is a level 5 or 6 Vanilla Tuner, so that's interesting. Then we've got Alexandrite Dragon, which is uh, another vanilla, 2k normal summon vanilla. Then we've got Flameveil Guard, which is a level 1 vanilla tuner with 2k defense. Interesting. We've got the Maiden with Eyes of Blue. That says the super rare as well, and the Blue Eyes is an ultra rare, by the way. Then we've got the Protector of Eyes of Blue, and um, that's a common, and everything else should be common from this point on, more or less. Then we've got Sage with Eyes of Blue, the actual good normal summon here. You love to see it. So in terms of actual playable Blue Eyes cards so far, we've got Sage and we've got Vanilla Blue Eyes. So it's, it's a bit rough, but let's go to the second line. We've got Master with Eyes of Blue, which sees play sometimes as a one-off, but very, very rarely. It's more maybe in Duel Links, I want to say. And we've got Rider of Stormwinds. I'm not going to lie, I don't know what this card does. It's probably bad, though. We have Keeper of the Shrine, which seems good in a drafting format, but it's just not really good by today's standards. We have the first egg and the second egg, so we've got White Stone of Legend and the White Stone of Ancients. Both of these cards are still good in Blue Eyes. You normally want to play three Ancients and one Legends, I think is normally how it goes. One Kyber Man is also in here, which is a bit of a yikes card, but it's very anime and cool, so of course it's in here. Dictator of D is in here. Um, I can't remember if this is the new good card. I think it is. It's like the Dex Magician Souls. This one's actually pretty good. Moving on to the third line, we have the Hardened Arm Dragon. I don't think this is a good card at all. We have a Hieratic Dragon of New It, which you're not going to play. We have Omni Dragon Brotor. Actual good card. Let's go. We have Chaos Dragon Levianir, which is an amazing card. Let's go. We have Honest. Pretty random, but sure. Uh, Carbageddon, which sees plays in combo decks, not so much dragon decks. I guess you could play it. Dragon Shrine as the first spell, a very good spell at that, so very nice start to the spells. Azura's Cry starting off the fourth line, not a bad card, but I think Revival of the Dragon Lords kind of replaces this, uh, which we might see later. Let's have a look, we've got Burst Stream of Destruction, the Blue Eyes Board Wipe. Uh, we've got Majesty with Eyes of Blue, these cards are not really that played ever. We've got Vision with Eyes of Blue, once again not really played. We've got Mausoleum of White, not really played. We've got Beacon of White, also not really played. Here's a good card, Melody of the Awakening Dragon, an amazing card, played at 3 most of the time, fantastic. Next up on the 5th line, we've got Dragon Revival Rhapsody, and this card's actually good, I think? I forget, I think you can search it off the new Lord of D monster that we just spoke about before. I can't actually remember though. I think it's alright though. Then we have Dragon Dravine, an awesome card, and we have Terraforming along with that. Pretty random, because I think it's the only field spell, but... Oh no, there's Mausoleum as well. Okay, yeah, Dragon Dravine, cool. Trade-in, that's nice for the deck. And Cards of Consonance, also good for the eggs in the deck. One for one, normally pretty good in Blue Eyes. Enemy Controller, just a Kyber staple card. Some formats, this card's not bad in the side deck either. It's definitely a Duel Link specialty, <laughs> but in TCG, sometimes Enemy Controller is very good too. Moving on to the traps... We've got True Light, the Blue Eyes version of Eternal Soul, which is basically better Eternal Soul, though Blue Eyes has always seen a more OTK style of play, so it's a bit awkward to play in the deck, if that makes sense. Next we have Castle of Dragon Souls, I, I don't know what that does, so I'm just going to check. I'm going to guess this card is bad though. Banish a dragon from grave, target a monster from the field against 700. When this phase of card sent from the field to grave, target one of your banished dragons special. Yeah, okay, you're not playing that. <laughs> Call of the Haunted is here as well. Sure, it's anime-esque, I guess. It's not that great, though. We've got Ring of Destruction, very anime. And then we've got Champion's Vigilance, which is kind of like a judgment, but you need a vanilla monster out, so it's just judgment in a way. Two extra deck monsters we have are Azure Eyes and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Two awesome extra deck monsters. Surprised we don't have something similar in DM yet, but hey, that's all right. No fusions, interestingly enough. Let's go have a look at the power-up pack, because this has some good cards. We've got Blue Eyes Alternative starting us off, along with the uh, Dragon Spirit of White. Dragon Spirit of White is a solid one of in Blue Eyes, and Alternative is a solid two to three of. I, I think they play two now, but I could be wrong. Next, we've got Destrudo, which is just a good card in general. Pretty cool. Jet Dragon. Blue Eyes Jet is actually pretty sensational, one of the newer cards. Then we've got Ultimate Creature of Destruction. This trap is... I can't remember if this is the one that lets you summon the three blue eyes, if that's a different one. 
but I think this is one that involves Bloy's ultimate, but I forget. Anyway, next we have the Priestess with Eyes of Blue, mm, doesn't really see play. Blue Eye Solid Dragon, doesn't really see play. Stardust Spark Dragon, I can't think of the last time this saw play, and it's pretty random in here. Along with the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, which is quite a decent card, but just random that these guys are in here. Bingo Machine goes next, pretty good card for like pure blue eyes. Here is a card I spoke about earlier, Return of the Dragon Lords is in here, let's go. Harpy's Feather Duster, pretty good staple, just random to see in here. Foolish Burial, pretty good staple once again. Book of Moon, pretty random, but okay. Forbidden Chalice, Forbidden Lance, all right, more decent-ish cards to be honest. And then we've got Wear Off now, which is kind of random in here, like you do have level ones, but I, I don't know if you'd play this. Brack Down, Bottomless Trap Hole, and Dark Bribe. Certainly an interesting power up pack. Um, look, I don't play a lot of Blue Eyes, but I think if you got three of this versus three of the Dark Magician structure, I think the Blue Eyes structure probably wins, let's be real. I'm gonna give it a um, 7 out of 10. I think buying three copies of this isn't too bad and it gives you a majority of the stuff you'd need to make a decentish Blue Eyes deck or like a generic Blue Eyes deck. You are missing all of the extra deck, like you've got the synchros, great. You're missing all the link plays, all the Xyz you might run, and all that fun stuff, but um, it at least gives you the most of the 40 card deck, I'd, I would say. If you wanted to play more dealing stuff, you'd have to invest, obviously, more in the dealing side of things. Um, you know what? It's not a bad deck overall. What do you guys think of this one in the comments, and how does it compare to the Dark Magician structure deck? Obviously, I'm a Dark Magician channel, but I thought... Why not spread some Blue Eyes love? And you know what? I'm a pretty big fan of Blue Eyes as well. I'm sure a lot of DM players are too because it's one of those OG anime decks. And not to mention, I do still think we will get a Blue Eyes Dark Magician fusion in the future, at least. That's what I'm hoping for. But let me know what you think down in the comments about any of that. The structure deck, the potential fusion, and just anything in general, really. I'll let your thoughts run wild. And I'll catch you guys next time. I have been Loza. See ya.